Welcome in to Drew Silly Diamond for Wednesday, September 4th, 2024. I am Drew Martin breaking down the slate of games. Let me know in the comments below what your MLB picks are for today, where you agree, where you disagree. All is welcome. It helps out the algorithm, guys. Smash that like button if you're liking the content as we got first game up. No waiting around here. 307 Eastern, 1207 Pacific. Heading north of the border to the Rogers Center. In Toronto for the Blue Jays, hosting the Phillies. Bowden Francis on the hill for the Jays. Christopher Sanchez, the southpaw, going for the Phillies. Committing a minus 125 price tag, total of eight. Bowden Francis has been absolutely lights out. Back-to-back, one-hit starts. Not one run given up starts. One-hit starts. Two earned runs over his last 29 innings, to be exact. If you go back to July uh, 13th here, he's got a 1.50 ERA and he's pitched 42 innings and only giving up 17 hits. Some pitchers out there are giving up more hits than innings completed. He's, he's giving up like less than 50% hits in the innings. He's complete. He's, he's getting through guys. I mean, this guy has been absolute money. He's only thrown seven walks as well over those 42 innings. Plus, you add that on to the fact the Blue Jays, it hasn't necessarily translated to wins, but they've scored 27 runs the last three games. So they're a hot lineup right now. Uh, if you've been watching the show, we've been on Bowden Francis a couple times. We're not stopping now. Don't love going up against the Phillies here. I mean, the Phillies got the second best record in baseball coming into action tonight. And they have Christopher Sanchez on the hill, the 27-year-old Dominican He's got a sub three fifth on the season. Now he has been up and down a little bit, but still when you have like that strong of a number, uh, it's not necessarily a guy I'm looking to go against, but I mean, we, we just talked about the reasons to be on the Jays plus a plus price at home. Hey, that's the way we're starting off our uh, Wednesday here, guys. First game up. It's the blue Jays over the Phillies plus plus one sixteen. Next game up, we're heading to South Florida to the fish tank for the Miami Marlins and the Washington Nationals. 640 Eastern start time. It's Mackenzie Gore, the lefty, going for the Nats, and Volante Belozo going for the fish. Eight, eight and a hook being the total, minus 130 or minus 135, depending on where we're shopping. That's the Nationals as the road favorite. They did win game one. It's just a two-game set here. It's number four and number five, so kind of the bottom feeders of the NL East division. And the Marlins, I mean, they're 20 games under 500 at home. And they got Belozo on the hill, the 24-year-old Mexican-born pitcher, back-to-back just four innings, giving up five earned runs or more in the last two starts. He's not a guy I can really be betting on. And Mackenzie Gore, we went against him a bunch in the beginning of the season. But actually, he's bounced back in his last two starts. Six innings, just two earned runs or less against the Yankees and the Braves. Now he's taking a step down in class going up against the Marlins lineup. Hey, minus 130. It's not a best bet by any means, guys. But let's go with the Nats over the Marlins, listing McKenzie Gore as the starter and laying the 30 cents. Heading back to the Northeast, City Field here to be exact, is the New York Mets host the Boston Red Sox. 7-10 Eastern start time here. Tanner Hawk up against McGill going for the Metropolitans. Total of eight Red Sox, short road favorites, minus 110. I think the story here, guys, is ride the hot, fade the cold. Mets have won six straight. We just won with them last night. Going to kind of, you know, step on this money train. We're not jumping off just yet. Whereas the Red Sox have now lost four straight. They're just three and nine their last 12. And they do have Hawk on the Hill, the first rounder out of Missouri. He got roughed up a couple times, but last time out, he was pretty good. Six innings, three hits, zero earned against the Detroit Tigers. I think the Mets lineup is a little bit more talented here. So I think he, he might have a little bit tougher of a start. And the Mets going with McGill here, Triple A, Major League Baseball. He's kind of split his time here where he's really throwing with the Mets uh, organization. But his last time out was against the White Sox, five and a third, one earned run. But again, it was against the White Sox. You know, talk about, you know, triple A or Major League Baseball. That's kind of like the equivalent of what that is. Overall, I still think uh, McGill and the the Mets is the side here, particularly because they've won six straight games. Ride the hot, fade the cold. We also get a bullpen edge with the Metropolitans. So it's the Mets plus 100 at home, risk 100 to, to win 100. That's the Mets over the Red Sox. Keeping it with the New York theme here, guys. We get the Yankees and the Rangers next game up as we head to the 8 o'clock Eastern hour. 
Marcus Stroman up against Nathan Eovaldi. Minus 105, that's the Rangers as the pick'em price tag at home. Total of nine. Yankees come in, 80 wins on the season. They have lost three of their last four, five of their last seven. Something to watch there. But they got Stroman on the hill. First rounder out of Duke, 3.8 ERA. He's been good recently. His last time actually against the Rangers a few starts ago, five innings, just one earned run given up. He's up against Eovaldi, though. And Eovaldi just went seven innings, one hit with 10 Ks. The market usually loves that, but it was, again, against the White Sox. So how much really can you put into that? Because the last time he faced the Yankees, just a few starts ago, he only lasted three innings, giving up six hits. So you kind of combine that with the fact the Rangers lineup really hasn't been, been putting up many crooked numbers over the last couple weeks. They've struggled against righties. Their bullpen's been blown up a bunch. Hey, I think that's enough to put us on the Yankees here, guys. Pick them price tag. Listing Stroman as the starter. It's the Bronx Bombers over the defending World Series champions. We got one game left. A reminder, if you could comment below, anything is welcome, guys. If you're, if you're interested in premium picks, check them out. Wagertalk.com, experts page, Drew Martin, 5% max limit up and available. We're also on a seven-game win streak, perfect 100% here, guys. So putting that on the line with one we really like on the Wednesday slate. So uh, 5% up and available if you want to check that out. But we got one game left here, the nightcap for Drew's Daily Diamond. We are heading out west to California, San Francisco, hosting Arizona. 9.45 Eastern time. Diamondbacks going with Zach Gallen on the hill. He's up against Hayden Birdsong here for the Giants. Total of eight, minus 135. That is the D-backs as the road favorite. Gallen, the 29-year-old out of UNC, the former Tar Heel. Nine hits, five earned runs last time against the Giants. So he's going to have to bounce back from that. He's kind of had a, a, a pretty tough, you know, strength of schedule, which, you know, the Giants have not been very good against righties offensively speaking. Um, so I think that Gallon can work his way through this Giants lineup. And he's up against Birdsong here, who's been mostly good this year in 11 starts. But he has been blown up a couple times. He's only a 23-year-old rookie. He's never seen the Arizona Diamondbacks. But really, it's it, it's the story here is the offense. I mean, if you go the last two weeks, guys, by Weighted Runs Created Plus, this is the second best lineup in baseball, the second hottest lineup in baseball against the second coldest lineup in baseball. So, and that's favoring the Diamondbacks. I think that matters here. I mean, the Giants have, have lost, what, four of their last five, slight bullpen edge towards the Diamondbacks, and we get Zach Gallen on the hill. Don't love laying the 35 cents, but we're going to go Diamondbacks over Giants to end the Wednesday slate, guys. In recap, that is Arizona over San Francisco. We get the Yankees pick them price tag with Stroman on the hill over the Texas Rangers. We get the Mets over the Boston Red Sox plus 100 there with the Mets at home. The Toronto Blue Jays like this one, guys. Bowden France's best bet for the show, if you will. Plus 116, risk 100 to win $116. Uh, with Francis on the hill and the Toronto Blue Jays over the Philadelphia Phillies. And then uh, we also had the Washington Nationals, minus 130 with Mackenzie Gore on the hill. So that's going to do it for the show, guys. I am Drew Martin. Please smash that like button, comment below, cash those tickets. Thanks for tuning in.